what are you looking at? Because I'm feeling bad as it is. I haven't filmed myself for three weeks, which means I haven't written nor read anything as remotely as I would have wanted to. And I don't know about you, but that is a catastrophe based off of my standards. And please put that aside because I'm here now and I think that's what should matter, right? As for this week, I decided to review this book, Rodham, written by Curtis Steinfeld. This is the book and um, this is um, Hillary Clinton in the flesh at the prime of her beauty. And I, that's why I bought this book. I just want to make myself clear. I was in love with the cover one more time because however, and from whatever angle that you see the cover, it's stunning. It's, I mean, I, I don't know where they found this picture, probably uh, by contacting Hillary, but whatever. It's a novel about um, Hillary Clinton's life. Um, but before me getting into the review, um, I wanted to talk about a couple of things. Um, I'm the kind of person who believes that every writer is good and unique in his or her own way. But be no fool and do not extend such mindset to all those uh, authors who write fiction. Because um, there are three types of uh, fiction writers. The first type are people like Stephen King who do not have any problem playing with your emotions as a reader for no less than 50 pages on a single scene. And that's huge because as a reader, you can finish the book in one standing if you're up to reading the whole book within like nine hours of back-to-back -back reading because either you have to finish it on the spot or you will forget about it and don't get back to it until another week or so. And then there are those uh, types of writers in the second group who do not invest in providing any type of explanations as to the emotions of the characters that they are writing about, right? I mean, who doesn't want some emotions? And examples would be, he looked at her, she looked back. I mean, it's completely um, materialistic and it's solely based on the mere observations of an observant um, who, is, who does not have any incentive to know what the heck is going on between the characters of the story, right? I mean, do you want to be intrigued by, on the hands of such linear passive and impassive kinds of kind of writing hell no unless you're a simpleton and you like to read the books for the juju <laughs> and then there are those uh, types of writers in the second group who do not invest in providing any type of explanations as to the emotions of the characters that they are writing about, right? I mean, who doesn't want some emotions? And examples would be, he looked at her, she looked back. I mean, it's completely um, materialistic and it's solely based on the mere observations of an observant um, who, is, who does not have any incentive to know what the heck is going on between the characters of the story, right? I mean, do you want to be intrigued by, on the hands of such linear, passive and impassive kinds of, kind of writing? Hell no, unless you're a simpleton and you like to read the books for the juju. The writing style of this book is very interesting to me because it is very simple, yet it does not fail to uh, present such intricate um, human interactions between two lovers, two friends, um, two family members, um, and easy to understand damsels to the reader. And that is very important, especially as a reader, to be um, respectful of the time that, the re that I am as a reader putting into reading such a book and um, I want to get some type of excitement out of it at least. And that brings me to a concept that in biology we call um, science communication or any science, it doesn't matter. 
Um, say you're a cancer biologist and you want to inform the people who have cancer and know nothing about it that as to what are the important things to know about cancer. And um, in order to do that, you have to such as you have to have such a skill to be able to condense um, those details and everything that you've accumulated um, in your years of becoming such a scientist um, to the people and to the members of the bourgeoisie that um, this is cancer and this is what's causing it without going into the details of mutations, clone types, different types of carcinogens, just being able to uh, convey to them the core of the subject matter. That's it in a one or two page pamphlet. Um, and that's what uh, Curtis Steinfeld is doing. I mean, she is taking these very real characters such as Hillary Clinton, um, her family members, uh, Bill Clinton, um, and uh, she's uh, placing them in the uh, very fictional world that she's created and these very fictional interactions that these characters have. And uh, at the same time, you are intrigued at every page that you're reading because let me uh, give you an experience, a personal experience during reading this book. I went to Google more than I can count to search as if the events, the very fictional events that I've just read in the book, in the chapters, are real or not. And, and that's a failure on my part and a very important success and achievement on um, Curtis's part because the way that she writes is very vivid and it gives you such strong emotions that you cannot get over what just happened. I mean, if someone is attempting suicide from one page to the next, um, you're like, what the hell? Did this really happen? I mean, why all of a sudden put this piece of information in front of me while I just um, was very uh, attached, was becoming very attached to this character? I mean, why? 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 Why would you? I mean, what kind of a sick mind is capable of doing that? And um, that's Curtis's mindset while she wrote this book. And I loved it. I loved the experience and I'm very happy that I convinced myself of uh, reading a contemporary novel for a change. Uh, yeah, th that's it. I mean, that's the kind of existential crises that one would want in their life. You know? Um, is it just me? Um, okay, that's awkward. Um, okay, I'm gonna end this segment right now and let you be. And I appreciate you tuning in um, after three weeks of me not posting anything. And I know that I'm encouraging you on my social media to come and watch these videos, but very much appreciated, buddy, whoever is watching. And until next week, and until another video and another book review, audio.